everyone, Mr. Ray here. I want to do a couple of videos on optimization for you. This is a pretty classic question in calculus classes, and uh, they really are more or less all the same. They come in different varieties, but the general theme of each one of these is the same. We're going to have some questions that's going to ask you to either maximize or minimize something. You're going to need to come up with the equation for that something, and then you're essentially taking the derivative, looking for a max or min point as appropriate, and uh, plugging your answer in. So this is a pretty classic question. We've got a field here and it's going to be divided into three equal areas with fences perpendicular to one side. So the first thing I want to do is draw a picture to represent what's happening. So I've got a rectangular field and it's going to be divided into three areas. That means I need two additional perpendicular pieces here. Now it says the total amount of fencing is 2,000 feet. Find the dimensions that are good and give me the largest area. So that means I'm looking to maximize area. So before I start doing anything else, I know that I'm going to need to find an equation for area and I'm going to need to find the derivative of that equation. So I'll need a couple of variables here. There's essentially two things happening with this field. There's the length and there's the width of the field. Now, it's completely arbitrary what you call them and what you choose. I'm going to go ahead and call this what appears to me to be the long side, L, and I'll call this W. So notice that means that I've got one length here, one length here, and one, two, three, four lengths of the W fence, right? So the perimeter of this fence, in other words, the total amount of fence that I use, is going to be one, two, three, four W's plus two L's. The L across the top, the L across the bottom. That's going to be important in a moment. Let's go to our area. So this is a rectangle, which means area is a very simple equation. It's simply length times the width. So the area is length times width. But hang on a second, that's an equation with how many variables? Two cannot solve an equation with two variables, so there's really no point in taking its derivative. We need to reduce this to one variable, and that's where this equation is going to come in handy. If the perimeter is, two, is 4w plus 2l, and by the way, we know that that perimeter has to be 2,000, because they told us that the total number of fence, or amount of fence we have to work with is 2,000, then this becomes an equation that we can solve either for w or for l to sub back into this one. Makes no difference whether you solve it for w or for l, since I have two L's, I'm going to solve it for L, but it really doesn't matter, right? 2L would be 2,000 minus 4W, and if you divide everything by 2, you get L equals 1,000 minus 2W. We're going to take this and plug it into this equation over here. So I'll give myself a little bit of room to work. And the original formula was that we have area equal to LW. Now this becomes area is equal to 1,000 minus 2W times W, right? Notice this is now an equation with only one variable. We can clean it up a little bit. That's 1,000 W minus 2W squared. And now we can go ahead and start taking derivatives and doing some calculus on this thing. So this is a simple polynomial function, really easy to work with. The derivative is just straight up power rule. That would be 1,000 minus 4W. So if we're looking to maximize this area, right, the largest fence in area, then we're going to be wanting to find any critical points of this derivative, create a prime line and look at what's happening. So uh, area, well, let's just factor first. Uh, 1,000 minus 4, don't even need to factor. 1,000 is equal to 4w, which means I have only one critical point. That's at w equals 250. So it's only one point, so I don't really need to worry about a prime line, but it's a good habit to get into anyway. If I look at this area function, I'm going to have one critical point at 250. Sorry, this is the derivative of the area function. Since it's a linear equation, it's pretty simple. It's got a negative slope going down, which means if I were to think about the graph of this line, it's going to be coming down in this direction, and it will be positive right here, and it will be negative over here. That means the function is going up, then coming down, which makes sense. That makes this a maximum point, which is what we were looking for. So now we know that with a width of 250, we get the max area. The question was asking for the dimensions of the problem. Well, w is only one number, it's not the dimensions. To find the width, or to find the length rather, we simply plug back in to this equation. So we know that the length is 1,000 minus 2w. If w is 250, that would be 1,000 minus 500, and that tells us the length is going to be 500. So the answer to this question is the dimensions are 500 by 250, where 500 is your length, 250 is your w, with regard to the way I drew the picture here. Um, these both are feet. Sometimes I'm a little careless with units, but you should be really careful about that. I've got a quick little animation to just kind of show you what this looks like. So if we take a look over here, we've got 
the situation. We've got the rectangular field divided into three areas. And down here you see I have this little slider. And so as I move this along, you see it changes the dimensions of the field. Now, I've set it up so that as I move this slider that controls the length of the field this way, what happens is that it automatically calculates the width to keep the perimeter at 2,000. And, of course, we can go ahead and animate, animate that, and you'll see that there's going to be some fields that are better than others, right? Somewhere around there looks optimal. As it gets too skinny and real long, there's basically no area. And on the other side, we also have essentially no area. Now, I can actually plot the area of this thing. This is scaled down, so it's not the actual numerical value. I've reduced it on the y-axis so it fits on the screen. But you can see it forms a nice arc. In fact, it looks parabolic. That shouldn't be a surprise because if we go back and notice here our area function was a parabola, right? 1000w minus 2w squared. And the area function indeed is a parabola. We got a maximum value when the length was 500. We can go ahead and bring it right to there, 500. And you can see that little dot right there. That's the area of the function perfectly at a max, 12,000 or 125,000 square feet. That would have been a perfectly good way to answer the question too. They could have asked you, find the maximum area, not the dimensions. So that's a pretty simple and standard area optimization question. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, comment below. If you have any questions, you can ask me in class or drop me an email if you're not in my class. Uh, I also put another video up for a cone, so keep a lookout for that one.